so this is something we haven't done enough of but we're at mile marker 81 on the Glen Highway and Glenn's looking in the mile post to see what there is to do around here. So he's looking to see where you can get gas. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, is that what you're looking for? <laughs> so then that leads us to a conversation about why are we going back to Valdez? And a bigger question of is it better to do things that are brand new to you, that you're exploring and you're seeing things for the first time? Or is it better to, does it feel better to see things and do things that you've done before? Because had we not explored and tried something new, we wouldn't know that we love the little town of Valdez. We also, I think we thought we were coming back here anyway because we thought we were going to bring our granddaughter here. Yeah. So, um, we didn't do the boat tour that we wanted to do. So we left some things undone. Right, right. And we're five hours away. So we woke up in Anchorage this morning, the day after we took Carrie to the airport. And Anchorage is kind of right in the middle of the triangle of places to go. You can go further south and see lots of things. You can go back up towards Denali and see lots of things there. Uh, and you can stick around or even start heading back home. We didn't know where we were going to go, did we? We didn't. Kind of have, to, have to think about it. And the thought process led us to the fact that we left some things on the table that we wish it, we wish we'd done in Valdez, and so that's where we're heading now. I think humans, I think we kind of migrate and lean towards doing things that are familiar to us. And even when you come to a, to Alaska to explore, we're really excited about going back to a place now that's going to be familiar to us. We kind of know where we want to go eat. We kind of know some of the things that we want to do again that we've already done and we know a few new things that we want to try to do while we're here so. but I think too I think the first time you go is exciting and you're figuring all that out so I really do like the aspect of going somewhere new but then you think about all the things that there were to do that you might not have done the first time so then it's also good to be able to go back and do all the things that you wish you had done the first time. It's true. Because sometimes it's hard to do them all when you're there the first time, or it's hard to know which ones to do. So, so how do you guys feel about that? Do you, do you like finding new places, or do you like going back to familiar places? I like them both. I do too. Riding and talking. Talking and riding. <laughs> Seventeen, wild and free and Brown hair flowing in the wind Speeding down that two-lane street Most beautiful thing I'd ever seen and When I finally got your name couldn't hide my stupid smile A Friday night after the game You blew, I stole my heart away Yeah Owen's gonna offer this road crew guy a drink <laughs> Any ticket Pretty sweet sometimes. That you come and make your own with me. And I'm feeling like every single part of me is beating. My chest, my bones, my mind. Now I'm dreaming with every breath I breathe. That you come and make your own. Come and make it on with me. Do you, do you remember?
remember this place? Do you? Is this rabbit town? Is this where all the rabbits are? See any rabbits? Let's do it. Come on. Let's stretch our legs. Come on. We're getting ready to go on our most ambitious hike yet. 4.3 miles with a lot of elevation gain. What are you getting us into? <laughs> Originally, this was a wooden road that came through. Oh, wow. As in a bridge? As in the road was wooden. We've seen the entrance to this railroad tunnel many times as we've driven by, but this is the first time we've actually seen it from the ground when we were not driving. You can see, I'll zoom in, you can see where it is. This was built in 1905, or as they would say, and Wiseman, 195. Yeah. Up this mountain for about a mile and a half. A couple places that are payoffs that you get to see. And we're a little more than halfway to the turnaround point. So we're gonna wait and see what happens there. Many times now so far we've had to say, is this the turnaround point? Because it gets a little bit more and more like a jungle. And I'm glad I wore long pants. But I'm also really glad that we're going on to see what's here. You're expecting Tarzan to come walking out. <laughs> yeah. I need to forget about Tarzan, Don. This is this is uh, more of a jungle as we cut our way up to the top of this. Wow. Makes you think twice when you're walking on the trail and you see bear scat. So we're not bear experts for sure, in fact we're far from it. We've seen a few black bears and we've now seen grizzly bears, but not really close up and we haven't walked into one on a trail. But a few things scare you on a trail like this. First is you're out here by yourself. Second is you see signs where there have been bears. And then third, you're on the side of a little mountain range here, it's a cliff. So if we do happen upon a bear, there's only three ways for it to go. And it can go through us, it can turn around and run from us, or it can go down this hill. Vegetation is pretty, pretty, pretty uh, thick going down the hill. So that's why we keep going, bear, bear. Here, bear, here, bear. Stay where you are, bear. up here. Long ways up here. Hope that means we've just about made it to the top. I'm going to walk right beside the edge of a cliff. And if you look off, you can kind of see how far up we are. We're up here. Man. It's a fun little hike here. Fine, you fine? I think we're getting close to the payoff for this four and a half mile trek up this mountain. Maggie's going slow. And we have learned to just let her smell because she smells things better than we do. I hear water though, Maggie, let's go. What in the world? Oh wow, look. Here's what she saw. Zoom in. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just up above it is the tip of a glacier. Oh, look at this. Oh, water coming down from a mountain glacier. Can it get any prettier than this? Wow. dipping his little toes in the water too, so just so he could feel how cold it is. I don't know if I can get him or not. There's that little water. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> Cools you off, doesn't it? Oh, man, it's cold. It was really cold, wasn't it? It was cold, very cold. I know. It was refreshing. <laughs> Yeah, I enjoy coming up here. <laughs> what happened to your knee? I fell down. Every hike needs a payoff, but this may be the best payoff we've ever had from a hike. This is, this is incredible right here, and we're glad you got to come along with us. So see, this is something new at Valdez, and we knew there were things that we wanted to do when we came here that we didn't get to do last time, but this time we're going to do them. This was fantastic here. <laughs> And then on the other side of us, mountain ranges. <laughs> Forgot to say, another great thing about this hike, we passed one other couple as we were coming up about halfway. Other than that, we've had this entire beautiful hike to ourselves. No crowds, no noise, just us. That's our kind of hike. <laughs> I'll put my shoe right beside of this bear poop so you can see how big the poop was that came out of this bear. I'll give you a reference. Crap. That's 
two more little piles like that on the way out. In my hand, I have the bear spray. That's a big pile of bear poop right there. These old shoes have walked up mountains. These old shoes have walked on shores. These old shoes have walked a thousand miles and they'll walk eight thousand more. These old shoes are broken and comfortable. These old shoes still look brand new. And you can learn a lot about who I am just from my old shoe. Cool how Mother Nature feeds all of her animals and as it gets close to the time that the bears go into a semi-hibernation, they have to fatten up. Their favorite fruit to do that, one of ours, blueberries. Don't eat their food. Mm-mm-mm. They are good. Man, they're really good. Mm. Well, now, we found Maggie's bowl, but we didn't find her bear bells. So we've been wearing that bear bell everywhere we go because of grizzly bears and making sure we're careful. And somewhere we dropped it along the path, but reminds me of the tale of, you know, they're out here eating berries and everything else, especially the black bears like to do that back home and the brown bears do here too. But you know, the difference between the poop of a, the poop of a black bear and the poop of a grizzly bear? Well, black bears have a lot of blueberries in their poop, a lot of berries. And grizzly bears have a lot of bear bells <laughs> in their poop. It's corny, isn't it? <laughs> I don't care who you are, that's corny. Whoops, a butt feeling. Bear, 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 brown bear. Bear, 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 grizzly bear. Bear, 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 Bears. Oh my. Ring, ring, ring. Jingle bells. <laughs> we made it down off the mountain. And now we just have to walk back to the van. Pretty awesome views. Pretty awesome trail. A few mosquitoes in here. Okay. Best trail you've ever hiked on? It's one of the best. I think it's the best. It she is. is very hard to say that's number one. Uh, it probably is though. Uh, it has to be one of the top. I can't remember one that's better than that. Yeah. Payoff was awesome. The payoff was, yeah, it was the best thing, but. Not easily accessible at all. It was a somewhat difficult hike for part of it. A few of the little ledges you had maybe 20 inches or so to walk on and it was a pretty steep drop. I was pretty scared. You fell once. I fell once. But it was at a flat area so that was good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know and that's serious. That is good we, but yeah, yeah. We, uh, we're at an age where we're just one fall away from not being able to go hiking anymore. So that's, that's always something we worry about. Um, the end of the trail, those waterfalls at the end off of that glacier. It's pretty spectacular. That, that's the word. So, the Goat Trail near Valdez, Alaska. And it's right across from the uh, Bridal Veil Falls. Waterfall. Yeah. That's so, beautiful. I'm hungry. You are? Let's go. Let's, Let's go. Get some right. meat. See, we're going to go. Thanks for watching and for subscribing. Maggie says happy tales. Be sure to find us on Facebook, Instagram, and on the web, Van Trading Lifestyle. Thanks for being part of the journey.